What up YouTube? Uh, if you wanted to know how to put in a hard drive or an SSD into your PlayStation 4, this would be the video for it. Uh, I'm not going to make it too like neat and professional like because it's not that hardcore. Got my PlayStation 4 up here. If you guys want to add me, feel free. Here is my name, Maddie G, with two underscores. Hmm. Not the greatest gamer, but if you want to game with me, let me know. So let's pan down to the PlayStation 4. So first, obviously, you have to turn off your PlayStation. Since I have the PlayStation um, camera, I'm going to use that. So look, no controller. I'm going to use it, right? You see it, so don't use it. So um, here, PlayStation power. Turn off PS4. Okay. So, now it's turning off. So make sure your console is totally turned off. Obviously you have to pull out your, you know, PlayStation. So first let me turn off my Switch. That's the wrong remote. Turn off the Switch. Awkward angle. Alright. All right, pull this out a little bit. So we take out the camera connection. Then we take out the HDMI connection and the optical. You're asking why I have an optical because I have a surround sound system. <clears throat> I don't use just HDMI, I use optical. And lastly, not least, the power cord. Make sure you're not static, so um, hit like a middle device, which might would be the stand right there. Uh, I don't know why this is still power. There shouldn't be power. So, let's turn off this monitor. Okay. I'm not sure if you can see this because the lighting is horrible, but... You can put your PlayStation to the side, like this. You don't need to do any screws or anything, and this will not void your warranty. Uh, so anyone is wondering, will this void my warranty? It will not. So, basically pull, and then pull upwards towards you. Okay, it's a little cover. Let's take that off. Then you locate this screw right here. It basically looks like a PlayStation uh, symbols on it. Right there. And once you find your screwdriver, which I just found, you obviously want to unscrew it. Sorry, it's an odd angle. So let's zoom out so you see what I'm doing. Just unscrew this. It's no special screw, just a regular Phillips head. Okay, put that aside so you don't lose it. Then push this tray out. Okay, then it'll be another four series of screws. One, two, three, four. Sorry guys, this is a really odd angle, so bear with me here. So any two and a half inch drive would actually fit in here. And you don't need a special type of drive, just any two and a half inch. And all of these PlayStation 4s either come with two company of hard drives. I believe one is HGST, which I have here. And the other one I believe is Toshiba hard drives. That's normally what they put in shitty like $200 crap tops or hot buys or whatever you call them. Then once you remove all those screws, you just literally remove the drive from the sled. But as you can see here, this would be like a spare for me or something. Um, I have all my data on here. I actually do not know how it would transfer all my shit that i just been, you know, installing and stuff um, on my PlayStation, but we'll just figure that out sometime later. Then you grab your hard drive or your solid state drive. In this case, I will have a terabyte, one terabyte uh, Samsung Evo 840. I'm covering this because a bunch of shit there that you probably won't be able, like, I don't want you to see. And this is also a SATA drive, obviously. So you put the drive face downwards, make sure the pins are facing down, like this. And then you just pop it back in. Well, actually, you want this <laughs> you want the screw to drive in. I'm sorry guys, I'm just rushing this because I'm too excited. So put the screws back on, repeat the whole process. Get the original screw it came with. Get your screwdriver. Sorry guys, yeah, it's an odd angle and I'm really excited because 
I want an SSD in my PS4. And I have to re-download all the updates and shit. And also, you'll need <clears throat> a controller. The USB it came with, and I believe an 8GB flash drive to install the actual update file. Okay, so put in an awkward angle, which I hate Sony for. I hate them doing this. Um, wow. Alright, just pop it in. And then you obviously have to plug the cords in. So give me a second for that as well. Power cord, which goes in the very bottom corner. Okay, and then we got your optical cords. An average setup won't have an optical setup. I just do because I use a surround sound system. Uh, God, this is taking forever. Yeah, okay. Then you get your HDMI cable, obviously, which goes here. Then you get your PS camera, which I believe is like somewhere here. All right, push it back where it belongs. Okay, here's the tricky part, guys. Okay, so first thing you need to know, guys, when you put the update file in your flash drive to install the software on your SSD or hard drive to your PlayStation 4 is that there's two files going out there. Um, normally, I would just say uh, PS4 uh, update download, and then you just go to this website and download it. But actually, one of them is wrong, and I'm not entirely sure which one it is. So I'm just going to copy and paste the link that I found out which one it was, which took me about an hour to figure it out. Um, but I'll just paste it there. I'll put it down in the description below so you know, or put an annotation somewhere. But this is the link you need to go to install the correct firmware. Um, otherwise, it will not work. So make sure you get the right one. So um, once you find this website, you go down to the download now button, click that, install it. I'm not going to do it because I've already done so. Um, once you do that, you have to install a USB drive, um, which I guess I'll do right now. Okay, make sure the USB has at least one gigabyte of free space. Um, and make sure you format it the drive. If you're using a Mac, you can use Disk Utility. It's a free application it comes with. So on the side here, you select the drive, you go to erase, make sure it's at ms fat, which is fat32, hit erase, erase it, that does in a couple seconds. Um, okay, then you go to your finder again, find the USB, and make a folder. Now this is very important, make sure it's all uppercase letters, so a PS4. Then you open that folder, make another folder, and type in update, make sure it's all uppercase. Um, and then you drag your file, the PSP, the PS4 file, um, you drag it in here. Once that's done, you eject it. Um, and then I'll continue and show you the rest what you do. Okay guys, there are two steps to do now. Okay, now you want to take your USB, which you located and stored the update, and put it into the PlayStation. Then you get your USB cord for the controller. Plug it into the PlayStation as well. And then plug that into your actual PlayStation 4 controller. Then obviously you want to turn it on, so power. And then I will show you an on screen what it will look like on the PlayStation. So be right back guys. Okay guys, so basically this will come into safe mode and you want to go all the way down to initialize PlayStation 4, reinstall system software. You want to hit OK. And then just give it a moment and it will start initializing and installing the software. OK. And then you just want to follow these prompts, it's pretty simple. And then you can check into your system preferences and you can see how much it takes up and it actually it goes to 862. Alright guys, that's basically it. Um, this has a SSD, loads pretty fast. Um, there's nothing that slows it down. And hope you guys liked the video on how to install an SSD or hard drive into your PlayStation. And until then guys, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace.